I hinted in my last video that we had something that we wanted to share with you. We've got like a bit of a life update, I guess. Yes. I don't know if it's going to be what you think it's going to be, um, but we're really excited to share more with you. We thought we would show you instead of tell you, <laughs> in a way. Does that yep. make sense? So, boys, are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just you two. Are you off? No. Yeah, yeah, quick, quick, mommy, get a tape. We're sending to China. No. Quick, 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 get him in, get him in. No. We are moving. To I... China. No. To China. We're not moving to no, China. We're not moving to um, China. I feel like I have to keep saying it because we're I still can't quite believe it's not. true. No. Oh, wow. Are you excited? Yes, I did. We're going to my friend's house. You're moving been, to your friend's house. Yes. It's been so long as well. I think I feel I find it a bit like. Yeah. No, if the, pro, the whole process has been so long, we wanted to tell people, but we can't really. You never know what's going to happen. Exactly, and there's been quite a few ups and downs. Um, I will explain to you a little bit what's uh, been going on in this video because I'm sure some people will be like, oh, that's quite soon after you moved that's here. What a jacket does. Would you like to transit <laughs> it and close on and up? And our house has got to be good enough. You know what I mean? Might like if then it here. So then it could be like a bigger house. It could be like a mansion. It's definitely not a mansion. It's not a mansion. But you can tell me obviously. Don't need that box. We need that box. What? To move you into China. But everyone's a little bit overexcited. Everyone's a little bit crazy but i know i can film a vlog now without letting you in on the secret because you, you'll see in a minute the whole house is just a mess completely crazy the boys are gonna go out for a walk for a second it's like a madhouse so once i've gone i'll sit down and maybe talk to you a little bit about it me and ricky were thinking of doing a q a um video so we can do that if you have any questions i'll probably ask over on instagram and stuff um but yeah we're really excited. We can't wait to kind of take you on this journey, explain what's been going on and the whole process. Um, so yeah, things are about to get quite hectic and very busy around here. Oh. I'm just setting up because we've actually been asked to um, audition as a family for an advert, which we've never done before. It's kind of strange to us, but we're gonna do a little interview for the casting process. I'm sure they've got loads and loads of people, loads of families doing it. But we thought we would, you know, give it a go. It's something fun and a bit different. So we're all gonna sit at the table, just have a chat, answer some questions, and then submit it. So you never know, one day you might see us popping up on the TV and you'll be like, that's what she was talking about. You tell. I just look my first ever top two. Your first top two. So let me see. So hang on a minute. So oh gosh, that's a very close shot of your mouth. You've just drank milk as well. So you've lost oh your bottom middle two, haven't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you, your top ones just come out. Go give me a big gappy smile. Smile. Oh look at you. Oh my goodness, That's Arch! So Can you find it? Yeah. Right, I've just come in here quickly after all the fun of um, Archie's tooth falling out and telling you our news. I just felt like it was probably a good time to have a catch up with you because I feel like, not that I've been keeping secrets, but obviously there are some things that you have to just keep private until it's the right time to share. And we don't share everything online. Um, what we do share is probably quite a small percentage really of what goes on. Um, and what our lives entail, but we love to share all of our big milestones with you. And we have done ever since I first got pregnant with Archie, really, that's when I started vlogging. Um, and ever since then, we've shared our um, pregnancies, births, our wedding, our um, house move. Buying this house and renovating it was um, something that we shared so much of, and that was actually two and a half years ago now. And that's gone so, so fast. And if you watch the whole renovation journey, 
I, I kind of completely understand if you're thinking, why are they moving already? They've just done everything to their house and now they're moving. Um, I think me, like I said, me and Ricky will sit down and we'll do a whole Q&A talking through the whole process, how long it took, um, all the ups and downs of it, why exactly we're moving. There are reasons why we're, we've chosen to move and to move now instead of in a few years. It was never our plan to renovate this place and then sell it on and move. Um, we definitely wanted to stay here for a fair few years, but in short, it turns out that we couldn't really do the things that we wanted to. When, if you watch the very first renovation videos, you'll see all of our kind of our plans and the things we wanted to do. And as we went along and a couple of years went past, we kind of learnt and realised that this is maybe not the house to do that to. Um, so we decided to bite the bullet last year. It feels like ages ago now. Um, we did actually do a video where we, uh, I can't remember what month it was, but it's quite early on last year, I think, where we went and looked at a house. Um, and we've, we've not kept it a complete secret. We have discussed in a few vlogs over last year, like, should we move, should we renovate, um, and things like that. And it did actually really worry me because, it, I mean, it was only one comment and you always hone in on that one negative comment, don't you? It's just human nature, I think. But so on that one where we said we went and looked at a house and it wasn't the right house for us, um, someone said, I can't believe you're moving after your dad's done all that work. Like, that's so terrible. And um, ever since then, I was a bit like, oh my God, people are going to think badly of us for moving when I know that that's ridiculous and you can move and do whatever you want in your own life um but I mean I'll touch on that more on the Q in the Q&A but you know my dad's a carpenter he has done a lot in this house um lots of built-ins lots of you know furniture and stuff which we absolutely love um but it is his job and he loves doing it and um, and he's gonna, he's really excited to do it again in, a, in another house. So, I mean, if I could have my dream, I think it would be like me, my, me, Ricky, my dad, like renovating houses, not that we live in necessarily, but ones we buy and then renovate them and sell them. I'd love to do that, but it's, it's my passion and it's also my dad's. So please don't feel like we are like hurting his feelings or being ungrateful for everything that he did here, you know, we bought this house, we renovated it, and we're selling it on for a profit. So, you know, it hasn't all gone to waste. I know it maybe can seem like that if you don't know the whole story and the whole ins and outs of it, but I did just want to point that out in case anyone else felt the same. Um, but yeah, so I've rambled on so much about it, um, and I haven't even told you what's happening moving forward. So as it stands right now, we have just under two weeks until we move. So for the last couple of weeks, months really, like very, I've been clearing out cupboards, organising, but over the last two weeks I've been really going for it. That's why I haven't been around in videos as much, as many stories on Instagram, because I've just been so focused on the house. So um, I'm going to show you around a little bit, but honestly it just looks awful. But it's going to, obviously, before... It's going to get worse than this. Up there is our loft that you'll never have seen. When we first moved here, we kind of just shoved everything from our old house. Hello, darling. Up there. Um, and it wasn't very organised at all. There was so much up there that I knew I had to sort out. So I spent a lot of time organising that. And then, I mean, it's not tidy anymore. But I've also spent loads of time sorting through all of Archie's toys. Um, just so that when we come to pack... We know that we're just packing the things that we're taking with us. I've still got Elliot's room to do. So I haven't even mentioned, obviously, the obvious fact that we are moving during coronavirus, which is really scary and not ideal at all. In the summer, when this whole process kind of was getting underway, it all seemed a lot better then, and naively we thought it would be gone. I think a lot of people did, or at least a lot better, and not where we are now, which is currently a lot worse. Um, but you are still allowed to move. The government is still allowing house moves. It just obviously has to be done very carefully. We can't have all the friends and family help that we normally have when we move. So that's quite difficult. But we are hiring movers, which is the first time we've ever done that, who will obviously do everything by the rules and properly. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to be as careful as we can and just get in there. And once we're in, I'll feel a lot better Um but it's just, it's quite, moving is stressful, isn't it? It's a stressful time and it's, um, 
a stressful time during a worldwide pandemic so yeah i've been doing lots and lots of organizing so i have boxes ready for the new loft um, and then i have empty boxes i have stuff sorted out again lots of memory boxes i've sorted out i found all of my books from either when i was like a teenager and when i was a little girl um i showed these on stories the other day but this is one from when i was six my nan and granddad i love it when you're like nan and granddad writing books so cute um I don't know, I love the fact that I keep this. I've never read the complete works of Jane Austen, but I always keep it because I always think I might. Um, maybe I will now after Bridgerton. And then I've got all my Jacqueline Wilson books. Like, they're so nostalgic. I, I, I had loads more, but I don't think I could ever part with these ones. I, I had millions of books as a kid, but these are. this is just like one box of books that were special to me that I've kept. Oh, you've got popcorn. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Are you helping mummy lots with the moving? Yeah. What have you been doing to help me? Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was trying to help you and daddy. Yeah. And there's a big spider and I was scared of him. We found a spider in the loft, didn't we? Yes, and it was on that big spot. Mm, it was. And there was a big giant bee and it was a big one and I tried to help Oh there was a wasp, daddy. yeah daddy did find a giant wasp didn't he? And I tried to help daddy yesterday help clean up Lee's things. You did. And then in the snug we are, we're doing quite well actually in here because uh, this is the first room we're actually packing and taking things down from the shelves because we thought we could use this room as a storage room for all the boxes right until the last minute and try and keep the other living room, the kitchen and the boys' rooms, you know, as normal as possible until closer to the day that we're moving. Um, so it's kind of sad to start to see it like this, but we've taken everything off the shelves. Uh, well, not everything, most things. Got all our bubble wrap i've got some more rubbish to go to well we're getting a skip i've got a whole box of dolly bobo memories there then we've got like our autumn decor we've got halloween stuff we've got the boxes of all my favorite ornaments on these shelves so we're trying to make sure they all stay nice yeah i'm eating my cucumber what wow you're eating cucumber oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. good job Daddy, look at these strong muscles. Hold your muscles no, no, no. out. Wow. It's a really strong elbow. But yeah. I've got Oreos. <laughs> oh, yeah. look at those strong elbows. But this one's more of a stronger. Yeah, it's all that cucumber. And all those yummy vegetables. So I'm going to sort out the uh, coat cupboard. This is... <laughs> This cupboard is always a mess, especially in the winter because obviously it's used so much more because there's so many more coats and hats and gloves and scarves and muddy boots compared to in the summer. Uh, but I really want to sort it out. I don't want to completely pack it up because we're still going to need it for a few weeks. But I just want to streamline it down like I have been with everything else so that when we do move, we can just kind of pick everything up, put it in a box or a bag, whatever, and then it's ready to be moved to where it's going to go in the new house. Then I've shown you guys this before. This is probably one of my favourite mum hacks ever. Ever since I've done it, we use it all the time. Again, more when things were normal and we were going out multiple times a day. Um, but we use this shoe storage to organise all of the things that we just like to grab and go. Um, so it really needs organising. As you can see, it's such a mess. But I'm going to talk you through it and um, show you what we keep in here. And it's so much easier than all these random things being dotted around the house. Um, but look, there's still flip flops in there. So I definitely need to organise some of these at the bottom. I'm just going to start by taking all of this out and then I'll start again because, yeah, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. I wanna be. I feel right now 
be the perfect time to introduce you to some of these products from Kleenex. We're actually working with Kleenex throughout the winter, so we're really proud to be uh, partnering with them for this part of the video. And these are the exact kinds of products and things that I would store in here um, because we grab them before we head out the door, especially with everything going on at the moment. Um, but even just generally, we always have tissues in here. So these are the Kleenex balsam tissues. They also come in a normal tissue box, but these are kind of like the handbag, like handy travel version. The balsam tissues contain vitamin E, aloe vera and calendula um, in a balm. So it helps to protect your skin and soothe it from when, if you have a cold, you're constantly like rubbing and blowing your nose, it can get quite red. So this contains a balm that soothes, soothes that. Um, so I find these amazing and they come in like a whole pack that you can get. So we always store these in there, like a few packs of tissues. And then because of everything going on currently, Kleenex have um, brought out these proactive care hygiene masks. So they've got kids and um, adults. We've got quite a few um, reusable masks, like quite a few cotton ones and things. But these ones in particular are great for Ricky because they're a bigger size. A lot of the ones we have are either kids or like pink ones, like pink cotton ones that are mine. Um, so there's five masks in each of these packs. They're black. They do do children's ones as well. And I just think having a pack of these in the door or even in the car is perfect because we have definitely been caught short a couple of times um, and just forgotten our mask. It's such an alien thing still, isn't it? That you go out and you're like, oh, I've not got my mask. So I would actually keep a pack of these in here um, and a pack in the car as well. So I'll put those in the car in a second. Um, and then also in their proactive care range, they have the um, antibacterial hand gel, which of course, again, we're all grabbing for at the moment. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and it contains 70% alcohol, uh, which I believe is the amount that it needs to kill the bacteria. I think that's right. Um, but yeah, it smells really nice. There's nothing worse than having to have hand antibacterial gel on all the time or like you use one in a shop when we were allowed to go in shops um, and it just smells really bad. So we all put this on before we go out and before we come in. Um, so we have a few bottles of this ready to go um, as well as just collected some things over the past few months just to make life a bit easier. They've got their own little um, hand sanitizer bottles which we refill. This one which I showed the other day, which is one that you can hang from your bag or your key ring, just makes it that little bit easier, doesn't it? So I just pop all those in together and then we know that they're in there. I'll leave more information about the Kleenex Proactive Care range and also the Kleenex Balsam Tissues in the description box below because they do have more products in that range um, and just helps me to feel a little bit more organised, especially with the move coming up as well, like that we've got everything handy. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get back to filling this back up. Um, a lot of this stuff we really don't need at the moment. Like I said, there's flip-flops, there's swimming goggles. No one's going swimming at the moment. There's football knee pads everywhere. No one's going football at the moment. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna make it as easy as possible to get to the things we actually need instead of just filling it with stuff that we don't. <laughs> Organized. Uh, we've got our tissues, face masks, um, hand sanitizer, and then these are all like our lint rollers and fluff rollers and things um, for the dog hair and anything like that. Then we've got the dog's lead, I don't know where the other one is, um, poo bags, and then their harnesses, and then this is the boy's hair gel, and that's like shoe spray for stinky feet. <laughs> some uh, headphones and a pen, a bit random, but always need a pen. I've kept the sunglasses in here. I just didn't want them to get broken. So I thought, I know it's not sunny, but it's probably the best place to keep them. Then we've got our boot buddy, which is great for cleaning shoes. And then Rick's aftershave that he just grabs. And then in the bottom here, I've just put all of our gloves in because we need to reach for them like just easily. And then down here, I've got like all reusable bags. Then the kids masks, my masks. And then this one's broken, which is annoying me, but I've just put some bubble hats in here 
again so we can reach them quickly. I'm getting at the moment is organising the house. <laughs> so I've just kept uh, everyone a coat. So I've got mine and a scarf, and then the boys. Rick's actually got a couple of jackets there, um, and then some shoes, like trainers, boots, things like that that we might wear for a walk or uh, whatever. And then up here, I actually swapped out one of these, which we had Play Doh in, in the craft cupboard. So in here, we've got lots more hats and scarves. And then in here, we've got all the football boots, swimming stuff, and summer hats. So it's a bit like Win autumn, winter, spring, summer stuff and a rucksack. Um, so I feel a lot better that that's done now. Um, and then when we move, obviously, we'll just kind of take all that down and pack it as it is because it will all be ready to go and all organised. Actually, I'm going to film an Instagram reel now of this, <laughs> just showing it as like a mum hack because I honestly swear by this. It's, we use it, like I say, all the time. And... Um, I think it's a really good idea because you don't ever see it because it's hidden away behind the door. I can't believe I haven't even mentioned this actually on my channel. I've mentioned it a few times over on Instagram. Um, so it might be news to you if you don't follow me on Instagram. But I've written a book. Um, I was writing it all through lockdown um, a lot last year and it's called The Little Book of Mum Hacks. So um, it's coming out on the 18th of February, which is really soon. It's on Amazon to pre-order at the moment. Um, and yeah, I'm really nervous because I've never done anything like this before, but I put all my heart and soul into it. And it's full of over 150 hacks um, for all different like life, life stuff, basically. So there's everything from pregnancy and newborn hacks to toddler hacks, but then there's loads of hacks in there if you have older kids as well. Um, and then occasional hacks, um, travel hacks, morning hacks, evening hacks, there's, there's a lot uh, and there's loads of stuff about self-care in there as well because I didn't want it to just be about when you're in mum mode, I wanted it to be about hacks to look after yourself when you're not in mum mode as well. So yeah, um, this is a shameless little plug, obviously I do need to plug the book because I would love you to buy one if it sounds like something you would like or maybe for a pregnant friend or just a mum that you think would enjoy it. So I will leave the um, link to that in the description box below um, and I, I hope you really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm gonna, the reason I'm telling you is because I'm gonna film some reels now leading up to publication day. So it kind of will all nicely tie in on my Instagram and yeah, so I'm still out of breath, that's terrible. I need to start exercising again, guys. I really, really do. Uh, right, I'm going to go film the reel, and then it will probably be time to start getting dinner on. I don't know if it's me or Rick doing it tonight. Um, but we're going to have a roast. Yes, I really want a roast potato. Well, I actually want about 10 roast potatoes, to be honest. I could, at the moment, just eat a plate of roast potatoes. Don't need the rest. Maybe gravy. Gravy and roast potatoes. So Rick started to make the roast. We're having a chicken roast today, aren't we? Chicken. Chicken roast. Got talk sport on, as always. Um, in the fifth round. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm so excited for the potatoes. Under, uh, you was, uh, what's underwhelmed. The underwhelmed, yeah, by the lack of potatoes last week. By the amount of potatoes that we got. So I, I'm, I'm my cup of nice, mister. It is, yeah. I, it's amazing I can actually get in it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You're a what? I'm a wear poodle noodle. A wear poodle noodle? No, I'm a wear poodle. A wear poodle. Not a werewolf, a wear poodle. That's from one of your favourite films, isn't it? Hello, my name's Elia and I'm wicked. You're wicked, are you? Yeah. You look wicked with your hat. <laughs> so we have just moved some boxes in the house to create a little bit more room so Kate can sort a few bits out. I mean, Elliot, I've just come in the garden to play frisbee with a boomerang. So he's actually quite good at it as well. You are. You're very good at it, aren't you? 
<laughs> wow, nearly. Wow. Daddy, See if you can catch it. Yeah, you got it. Look at those potatoes. I'm so excited about my potatoes. I thought I'd come up here and sort some of Elliot's room out because we'd already got a load of stuff out to organise anyway because obviously moving. Um, but he has this thing where he pulls out his whole wardrobe. It's so annoying. So his room now is completely trashed. So I'm going to sort through all of his clothes and then try and get this room a little bit more straight because it's just awful i'm not going to do a time lapse because it takes so long like and so much memory up to film i'm going to be doing so many time lapses i think um so for this one i'm just going to show you the before and the after um hope that's okay so uh i, I'm all, I almost don't want to show you this <laughs> god it really wasn't this bad he's just pulled out his whole wardrobe and then all of the toys a lot of these big toys were in archie's bedroom and where we've sorted that out this room just isn't set up to have like lots of big play sets and toys in here right so i've finished in here for the evening because it's the boys bedtime and they're going feral downstairs so we really need to get them in the bath and into bed with their books um so this is what i've managed to do so far so this is elliot's room now it's still not perfect but you can at least see the floor um the problem is when we first moved here elliot was 15 months old so he didn't really have any toys, hence not really much toy storage. He's got storage under the bed, which I still need to organise. Um, and then in all of these, it's all it's all books now. So they're just all completely full of books. So I do still have to really sort out this room, go through it all. But it's looking much better than it was. And then in his wardrobe, I didn't really put any away in those storage boxes, so um, at the moment I've just hung them all. Wow. It looks like he had, well he does, he has so many clothes, but like I said, it's mainly hand-me-downs from Archie or anything that they've had where they match. So he does have a lot of clothes and he probably only wears a quarter of them because he's so funny about what he will wear. Well, you're but, you've done such a good um, job. Thank you. We're going to get the boys in the uh, shower. Um, and get them to bed because it's Sunday night but there's still lots of work to be done. <laughs> I nearly forgot to finish the vlog. The boys took a little while to go to sleep but they're asleep now. Um, so yeah, all I have left to do this evening is um, make sure the Tooth Fairy visits Archie. That's very, very important because we're very excited about um, putting his tooth in his little box. He usually puts it under his pillow but he's put it um, on his little shelf for Bobby's bed which makes it easier for the Tooth Fairy to get to. So I'm sure she'll be pleased about that. And then I need to put the clean bedding on the bed. I need to start editing this vlog, um, have a shower, and then it, before we know it, it'll be Monday again. So yeah, I feel like we've done quite well today. We've got quite a lot of things done that we needed to get done halfway through sorting Elliot's room out. So I'm just gonna keep cracking on and hopefully film a few more kind of packing, organising, moving videos, vlogs, if you'd like to see that over the next week or so, because um, it's less than two weeks now. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. I've also got some other ideas that I'd like to do, so tell me what you think. The first one is, last year I did a video about the um, best and worst things we did when we were renovating and like the lessons we learned and stuff and I've definitely got another five best and worst things and things that I would do differently next time so let me know if you'd like to see that and I'll get that filmed before we move um, and also I've done mood boards of the boys bedrooms so far of how I want them to be um, I haven't done any for the other rooms but I know how kind of like how I'd like them in my head so I thought I could do another one of my do you remember the video I did where I decorated my view, I made mood boards for my viewers' rooms? So many of you messaged me asking me to do that again and I really want to do it. I just need to find a better way to organise the messages that come through for me because I ask for quite a lot of detail about what room it is, your budget, what you'd like it to look like, all of that kind of thing, like if it needs storage. So it takes, it's quite difficult. But anyway, I thought... I could do it for my own house. I thought that might be interesting to see the kind of look that we want to go for. And then if you guys enjoy that, then I'll try and do ones for you, like videos for you guys and mood boards for you coming up um, once we're a bit more settled and stuff. So 
yeah anyway i've rambled on long enough i hope you enjoyed the vlog i hope you are having a lovely day and i will see you again very soon bye guys thanks for watching